Governor Green announced yesterday that he's backed down from a moratorium on short-term rentals in Maui County. Community organizers are now focused on legislation that would give power to the counties to phase out high-priced vacation homes. Bryce Moore reports. The Lahaina Strong Community Group gathered at the Capitol today, saying they know a moratorium is no longer needed since displaced families have started to trickle in to more permanent housing. We still need to tackle this short-term rental issue because the short-term rental industry has exacerbated the housing market and made it way too expensive for anybody to even afford a family home here in Hawaii. Organizers are now highlighting legislation to give counties the power to gradually phase out short-term rentals. Giving counties the clear authority to phase out vacation rental uses is a key tool for helping Maui residents find adequate rental housing in the wake of the wildfires. Representative Ellie Cochran adds for some residents still without long-term housing, cutting the red tape to find it is simply too much. Organizers say 60% of Native Hawaiians in West Maui affected by the fire have left the island. You know, every time they get a different case manager, they have to retell their story. They have to get this paper, get it signed, go back. I mean, it's just been nonstop. We're almost nine months in and we haven't still built a home. A friend of mine committed suicide. There's deaths. And it is sad to have people move off, but it's even sadder when people are killing themselves. And nobody's saying that. Some new help is available. The Office of Hawaiian Affairs announcing one-time grants for Native Hawaiians affected by the fires, $9,000 to eligible homeowners and $4,000 to eligible renters. People worry if things are forgotten, if Lahaina is forgotten. This is a reminder for our community that help is there. Aside from the grant program and short-term rental legislation moving through the ledge, the state announced today it's acquired a former hotel in Kihei with 175 guest rooms to be used initially as temporary housing for the displaced and eventually repurposed as a teacher and workforce rental housing project, opening up to wildfire survivors in early May. Bryce Moore, KHO12 News, working for Hawaii.